When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do. But at what cost? You're telling me that I can't have a say in my own wedding cake? No, you can't. That I have to serve alcohol. And you just I want it perfect. Can we get it perfect? I'm very close to being maxed out. Bottom what? line, I'm going to need more cash. Why should I stay? For a $200 ring? OK! Oh, I'm going to repeat this. I'm not a very picky person, I swear. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Weddings are an elegant presentation. Weddings are unique transportation. Weddings are financial trepidation. Meet newlyweds Edith and Cam. Their wedding offered almost as many surprises as their budget did. So let's sneak a peek at the events leading up to their perfect wedding day. My name is Edith. I'm a 29-year-old and I work in the food industry and advertising. I met Cam, a sales rep, when we were in college. Even though we were very different, we hit it off right away. I consider myself a perfectionist, and this is a story of how we pulled off the most perfect wedding day. I envisioned the wedding just to be perfect, <laughs> and no errors and nothing happening bad. I actually envisioned it to be a lot worse than what it actually was. <laughs> oh, I, I was yeah. really <laughs> afraid of our families getting together, but they got along so oh, amazing. Oh, he envisioned, like, fights. Fights and... and stuff like that. Well, it may have worked out in the end, but it wasn't without its ups and downs along the way. So let's wind back the clocks and see what really happened. My expectations, personally, for the wedding planners was really high. I wanted them to be like little me's and be really picky about things. And I, I thought it was a blessing to have wedding planners because, you know, that would mean I wouldn't have to do as much work. <laughs> Enter wedding planners Chantal Walker and Charmaine Burke. With their three years of experience, were these siblings able to keep Edith off of Cam's back and still keep the budget on track? Good news. Uh, our role as wedding planners is to basically Apart from executing the day and making sure that the day of coordination is tight, we really want to make sure that we bring the bride and groom's vision together. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. When we think about your wedding day, do you, what do you see in terms of your vision? Maybe a little bit of a different experience, not a typical wedding, and just for them to have a lot of fun and be able to experience both of our cultures, which we think are very important okay. to us okay. and that's to our why, families. That's why we've decided to go with uh, two, two wedding days. <laughs> okay. Two ceremonies, two ceremonies, one reception. So one would be on a Saturday. Okay. Which we were thinking would be the Sikh wedding. The Sikh wedding? Yeah. Okay. And then the following week have... Uh, our non-religious uh, non ceremony non where we actually okay. sign. And a reception. reception. Okay. The Sikh wedding, it's going to be very traditional. We're considering getting a horse. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be ridden in on a horse, and I have to grow a beard for that one. And okay. wear We're a turban and wear, yeah, yeah she's got to wear a I'm lenga. doing everything for that that's completely traditional. Isn't and then that? it's going to be like the complete opposite. The following weekend, it's going to be tuxes and... You know, I'm going to be clean shaven. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a nice change. And nice. We're, we're, we're thinking about having a grand entrance, a okay. uh, few ideas, uh, maybe coming in on a right. boat yes. or mm -hmm. something something really flashy. flashy. And, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially having a boat. And I want to tell you, the horse is still kind of flashy yeah. too. Well, yeah, that's, that's, the way things, that's, that's, that's the way things are done. Great. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, have we decided? in terms of your wedding size, like how many guests you're going to invite, because that will have a huge, huge impact, impact on, yes, your budget. on your budget. Yes. Right now it's at about 120. And uh, we've actually chosen our venue, which is Already? a walk. Yeah. 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 That's, that's one thing we've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a waterfront venue. venue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How will you be decorating it? Well, are you hiring someone or? Well, actually, that's where we're saving a lot of the cost. We decided to, um, well, I decided to, and Cam well, just agreed. Well, we, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> decided to, that we'd kind of use our family and friends to do our centerpieces. Oh. Where? Can you guys just give us a, a quick breakdown um, of who's going to be paying for what? We're paying for the majority of it. Okay. We're getting some funds from Cam's mom for the Indian wedding and some funds from my parents for the other wording. And, yeah. and us. And us. And us. Exactly. Okay. Bigger, right. fender, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know? 
that's the budget. We're going to be broke. <laughs> so it looks so, like we have a lot of things um, in place here in terms of what you're looking for, in terms of your vision, your style. You have a very modern contemporary space, mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. still want to make it traditional in terms of bringing honoring in Cam's family. family and also Edith's family. In regards to Cam and how active he is in the planning, I have never seen him speak so much about the wedding until this meeting, but I'm happy to hear it. Uh, I do want his input. It's our wedding. It should be about both of us. Us, um, and uh, I'll try to accommodate his wishes. <laughs> uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to come in close to that budget, but if we go over, it's all in its fault. I guess right now it's all about the budget. The budget. No drum roll, I'm not good at the drum roll. <laughs> Just give her the budget. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? We're really going to have to um, work together on this to make it happen. It's the budget that Cam came up with. She is so <laughs> lying. <laughs> Coming up. But you're telling me that I can't have a say in my own wedding cake? No, you That I have to serve alcohol. You don't want to piss off the women in my, my side of the family. Ava's a natural organizer, so she was she was great. I mean, she was just naturally grabbing all the details and taking care of it. And and uh, I discovered very quickly that it was a good idea to let the organizer organize, and I would just kind of, you know, do the rest of the things that had to be done. When it comes to planning a wedding, the one thing at the top of your to-do list is accepting the reality of your budget. That's the budget. We're going to be broke. <laughs> and at the end of the show, we'll reveal whether or not Edith and Cam's two ceremonies broke the bank. I decided to take the girls and my mother and uh, the people in charge of the venue to walk them through the venue and tell them what uh, my vision was. We talked about all the little projects that we had to do together. So this is the main hall, and this is where we're actually going to have the ceremony. Wow. And I think with the light at that time, like it's about this time that we're going to be getting married, mm -hmm. it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. This will all be blocked off, so during the ceremony, you won't see any Anything. of this. Anything. Or this. Yeah. You'll just see that room. Just that. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so your tables are the decorations. Your tables with the centerpieces and that. Yeah, the centerpieces. Oh, so you guys want to see them? There's nothing in here. No, there's nothing in here, right? And yeah. Oh, yeah. no, but you have to do the centerpieces. Oh, that's fine. Do you want to see the centerpieces? Center I knew that to our list. I knew that part. I'm just that's the one. To it took you us to do this. <laughs> Thank you. Four exactly. Hours. Four hours to do one. There's 22 to go. 22. 22. So, so ooh. So very this is nice. A working centerpiece. OK, so we are using artificial flowers or? Yes. For, OK. Flowers have okay. you considered using real flowers? I did. And then I looked at the cost. These orchids cost Retail, they cost about fifty to sixty dollars a stem. Right. Uh, even if I buy it wholesale, it's not even close to a price that I'm comfortable spending. Mm -hmm. Where if I buy them fake, they're five percent of that cost. So um, I'm definitely going to go fake. It's not our preference, however, because exactly. this is your day and it's they your stay budget. Right? Exactly, they do stay forever. <laughs> I'm hoping you guys can spray them with some oil, which I'll get ready for you, so they smell real. <laughs> well, that's something I haven't heard before. Just want everything to be yeah. top of the line, clean looking, very contemporary. I want it perfect. Can we get it perfect? I need a lot of help to put this wedding together, and I'm really hoping that my wedding party understands and that my family understands. Okay! Okay! <laughs> Okay. Get everybody's control. okay, guys, guys, it's time, it's time that we start making the centerpieces. Making the centerpieces, and we have some bouquets to make, and some other... Um... I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> we have to tear all the flowers apart, take all the leaves off, cut the roses off. Somebody can get the roses ready, because they're all cut. Somebody can do the leaves, because they're on separate wires. You lost me at the second the set of leaves. Thing. Okay, so there's three, there's three of these leaves. You know what? Let's do one. Let's yeah. let's let's start yeah. one from yeah. scratch. Wow. Yeah, and let's grab one. Here. Okay, there should be four small ones, two white and two pink, and four large ones, two white and two pink. Okay. Yeah, that made a lot of sense. We're doing the candles, so let's get the candles out and ready and packed. 
I'm not sure if this is, um, it's not. Do you want to start taking bets on when Nada's going to reopen everything we do and redo? No, I will Before she's going, oh, there's just about four grains too much of sand in this one. Your sister-in-law seems to know you well. So, Anne, what's going on with the rest of my bridesmaids? You've scared them away. <laughs> and suddenly, there's plans. They have other plans. Oh. And, um, hmm, had other plans. Smart girls. In regards to the cake, I definitely wanted something different, cheap, and um, something that would stick out, but wouldn't cost us uh, an arm and a leg the I... way most wedding cakes cost right now. Personally, I wanted more of a traditional cake. Who said you had a say in it, Cam? She said we're going to be trying something called a croque and bouche. Yes. And uh, bouche. by the looks of it, it's definitely not traditional. And it's so, definitely not but, traditional. But I'm going to give it a shot, and good. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yep. Mm -hmm. wow. it looks good. Yeah. Yep. To do a for 100 bit. people, what are we looking at? About uh, 100 dollars. Mm. Our oh, budget was for mm. more like 300. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But. We can move things over. I wanted to go with a traditional cake. Exactly. Yeah. So this is like right now I'm really thinking out of the box. It might be worth the extra hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try it first before I start budging on any budgets here. What are the different flavors? You have the Grand Marnier, you have plain vanilla, chocolate, on um, raspberry. Yeah. There you go, get practice. It's the whole thing. <laughs> 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 We're just share. share. <laughs> Okay. How are you gonna eat all this? That one definitely had alcohol in it. We cannot go with alcohol. The women on my side of the family don't don't drink but they, alcohol. There's 25% of the people there that are non-drinkers. So it's you can pastry. satisfy 25%. It's a pastry, not an alcoholic other, beverage. It's, it's other, a pastry. But there's other desserts there. You don't want to piss off the though. women yeah. in my my side of the family. Exactly. You're telling me that there's I can't have a say in my own wedding cake? No, you That I have to serve alcohol. We'll take it non-alcoholic. Yeah. 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 That's what I've decided. No, half and half. No, no, no. I've decided already. We're no, gonna... no. Half and yeah. half. No, no. No, it's Half fine. and half. I say let's stick with Cam. Let's be respectful yeah. to his We're family. We're going to go with uh, the chocolate and the vanilla. The chocolate and the vanilla. Which but which were fantastic, by the way. They were I, they were they, great. But no, no. I, I think to serve the more mature adults at the party, to have this beautiful alcoholic pastry is just, it's like... Yeah, I, it's I, really I, iceberg, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to actually agree with Edith on this one, and maybe do half when and half. Yeah. Even with opposing sides, Edith still managed to get her way. You see what happened here? Boy. My budget went up for yeah. the cake. Yeah. I didn't get the cake I you wanted. Didn't get the I got 50 percent of it alcohol. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mary Love, baby. <laughs> and a glimpse into your future, Cam. Uh, I really wanted to lose weight before the wedding um, because I knew the pictures were going to be forever. And I like her the way she was and the way she's going to be, you know, so her, her wanting to lose weight was for her. Welcome to the toughest and most satisfying thing you will ever do, okay? We're going to be working really hard. You're going to hold on to the handles, pull up. Squat down, holding the ball, touch the ground. Touch the ground. <laughs> okay? We'll do it in a year. <laughs> Any we won't questions? be able to move. No. So if I was to ask you to do them now, you'd be okay with that? Yeah. Yes. Good. Come because on. I only show you once. All right. <laughs> That's why he's wearing the army <laughs> pants, Mom. <laughs> okay. That's the way. Come on, come on, girl. Ten seconds. You got 20 to go. Four, three, two, one. Girl, you're doing better. Come on. Up, up, up. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. All the way, all the way. What's up, girl? How you doing down there? <laughs> Three, two, one. Getting tired yet? I can't talk. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Oh my, oh my god. Let's Everybody. not let's not walk too fast. <laughs> I've got 20 pounds to lose. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I've got to look at something else to help me. Like what? I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll try that diet clinic, the one that's like medically supervised. <laughs> but it's expensive, isn't it? I know. Okay, I will talk to Daddy, and I think we can help you financially. But I don't care what money. <laughs> under is. one circumstances that you are going to exercise as well. Long time for me. You're walking too fast. You're walking too fast. <laughs> a boot camp, even though it was a great workout, I don't think would uh, would uh, help us out in the way I needed it to. Because it's too much work. No. <laughs> You thought that was hard. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm going to ask you to step on our scale. I'm at one, 170. 
and my ideal weight is 115 to 125. I think that's what my leg weighs, but like my monthly goal, like... Uh, it's gonna be around 16, 20 pounds a month. If you make any mistake or if you're cheating, then it's not 16, 20 pounds a month. Edith, how badly did you want to slim down? Hey, Edith? Hi, you could come Hi. with me. My name is Jackie, I'm one of the nurses here. So you could follow me. So this is your diet manual. So I'm gonna tell you what's okay. not allowed. No alcohol, no orange juice or other juices, no regular bread, no cereal, no pasta. No lamb, smoked meats, herring, squid no clams, herring. mussels, oysters, no potatoes, no yellow beans, no rice, no peas, no corn, and not allowed fruits. I'm sorry. What's left? <laughs> There's nothing left to eat. Ah, uh, the price you pay to look good. <laughs> Both of our parents uh, were financially helping us with the weddings, although uh, I don't think either of them really forced us to include certain details. With two wedding ceremonies and one reception, I'm sure everyone had a lot to say. We really want to talk about the details of the wedding um, and the kind of things that we want. I don't want to disappoint any of you guys, but it's our wedding and we've decided that we're just gonna have the one reception. I went to India to get her two langas for morning time ceremony in the church and the night time in the reception. I spent so much money for her. So now you decide that you don't want that, so it hurts well, me. It's customary in the Polish tradition that at 12 o'clock I have to take my wedding gown off. So why don't I wear the beautiful outfit that you bought me from India um, at 12 o'clock, I'll change into it, and so I will wear the Indian That's a good clothing. Idea. It's better that we amalgamated it, like, yeah. you know, have yeah. one reception, yeah. have the two cultures clashing, it'll be fantastic. Not clashing, come together. Their idea of combining two weddings is very, very difficult, and I am totally overwhelmed. It's not going to be easy for me that you are not going to get married in a church. Personally, okay. personally I have a problem with this, because I'm asking, a lot of you guys. Now, I'm asking for her to get married in, in my in my temple, and I'm so willing to do stuff for the Polish side. It's her decision to uh, have an efficient for that wedding. I think the most important thing is that we're happy with yeah. what the wedding comes out. We had our vision, and we go with it. And if people don't like it, then that's too bad for them. Or we had my vision, and we went with yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I'm out of here. Coming up. If this is the way no, it's going to be, stop. I'm out. No, no I'm stop. serious. I'm serious. <laughs> no. I mean, why should I stay for a $200 ring? I knew Brian was the one because after he asked me out for the first date, I drove by and he was washing the car to take me out. And I thought, you know, there's a nice guy. When it comes to putting together your big day, sometimes negotiations can involve a lot more than just your finances. Even if I buy it wholesale, it's not even close to a price that I'm comfortable spending, where if I buy them fake, they're 5% of that cost. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on just how much Edith and Cam's budget bloomed. I did call on a meeting uh, with the wedding planners and my mother with the, the caterer and his top chef to talk about the food and start the ball rolling on uh, putting a menu together. This was the first of many meetings where I wasn't included in, in, in the whole process, so. There's a reason for everything. I took a look at your menu yeah. and I rewrote it. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm controlling. I warn you. We can put this one away. Oh, oh. <laughs> And so I knew it. I knew it. it. <laughs> and I actually have a copy for you somewhere here. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. Yeah. It's not yeah. going to be easy. I do like uh, fresh tomato d'oeuvres, okay. so I actually printed out a recipe. <laughs> it's uh, beef wellington, which I know is a better cut of beef, uh, but this is a mini cut, so hopefully you won't charge me too much for this one. I actually stole the salad from um, a menu I saw in a restaurant, so I'd like some baby greens <laughs> mm -hmm. with sliced peaches pecans and goat cheese. And the thing that I like at the side, which I think is very Indian, is including mango, like a mango salsa, which I think works really well and it's very refreshing. I think Merlin was really caught off guard when I gave him the recipes, but I want to see it at my wedding. Um, the tasting. There's no extra cost for the tasting. I mean, this right? is, uh, yeah, we will see. We will, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, no, uh, no. Oh. Oh. We were able to uh, work out with our caterer to get uh, a food tasting, which was important, and it was free. Good uh, price. 
<laughs> now, is this the final and updated menu? Yes, this so is far? the ironed out final. I've gone over it a zillion times menu. Oh. oh. Okay. okay, everybody. I think the Wellington, I got it right. That's the first one I want to try. Wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting something? I just dug right in without even thinking. What? I can't eat this. What? It's cheating my diet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mom, things. I'll give you the other half. Just, yeah, mm -hmm. taste it, but don't eat the whole thing. Oh, jeez. Is there no yeah, cream cheese happen. inside? There should be cream cheese inside. The butter. So I'm just worried because the cream cheese added, and I'm pretty sure it had cream cheese, just a different flavor. There's a cream cheese in there. But you can't taste any cream cheese in it. I want to make it a little clear here, you know, like uh, I am not going to follow a recipe book here. Cam loves food, so we just need to make sure it's right. Salad is pretty, in my opinion, we need more color here. Can I just have a spoon? Because I want to plate it the way I'd like to see it. Yeah. So this is not how you wanted it? No. I'll... When it came to her vision, Edith wasn't shy to step up to the plate. Can we also do mixed greens uh, yeah. as, uh, as opposed to just room? Yeah, yeah. Oh. The mango salsa is going to be at the side, and that's what it's going to add the color. That's exactly. That's yeah, and it, this needs to be chopped up like a, like a salsa, though. It has to be very. So the mango has to be finer. Yeah. Do you want a dressing on top of that? Yes. Yeah. But drizzle. The, you can't drizzle with uh, with a, a heavy with spoon, a heavy but spoon. something like that. I'm not a very picky person, I swear. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's hope the caterers get it right. We wouldn't want to see our picky bride plating the dishes at her reception. Wings were very important to me because I want to make sure I received or had something <laughs> that I really liked. <laughs> and the budget for the rings was a little bit <laughs> unfair, I know, but Girls a little need, bit. <laughs> girls need their diamonds. I don't even want to go back to that day. We just want to find our wedding bands today. Yeah. I have about a thousand different bands for you. To work. <sighs> oh, wow. That's yes. too many. <laughs> I need bigger Hopefully diamonds. With, no, no, with no diamonds. There? Shh, baby, I'm in my zone. <laughs> Is there a bigger diamond section? Mm, uh, yep, right over here. <laughs> oh, That'd be another. You had me in the wrong zone. We only have a budget of two thousand bucks. Ooh, I think I found it. I think I found it. That one would be about 2000 That's our whole budget. There's no way. I'm... No way. No way. Like, do you want me to leave? I'll leave. <laughs> like, I really will. I think what's going to end up happening is that um, either I'll cry first or stomp my feet, or um, there won't be a wedding unless I get my ring. <laughs> I've sat back and watched her, you know, up the budget in certain areas, and I've been quiet about it. But for this, I'm not willing to budge. I, I, for some reason, it makes me really angry. You're not listening to me. I know, but you're not listening to me. Do you understand? Like, you want to slap me. I want me in... a nice ring. <laughs> I would like to split the budget half and half no, for this. That's ridiculous. If this is the way no, it's going to be, I, I'm out. No, I'm stop. serious. I'm s <laughs> no. I mean, why should I stay for a $200 ring? Can you stop? OK, well, you Can better you put stop? that ring. OK, I'm going to turn this way. That ring better be back over there. You're misbehaving. People can hear you. But look, just look how pretty it looks. I had to compromise for the budget uh, for the rings. I mean, she, she was just too selfish with the ring. So. I, I wouldn't use the word selfish. That's very harsh. Maybe I wanted diamonds. Maybe I wanted a lot of diamonds. <laughs> you did. <laughs> In the beginning, um, I was actually sending out emails to find out what everybody's availability was. And then uh, my sister-in-law, who's one of my bridesmaids, realized that I was doing it because I was trying to plan my own bridal show. <laughs> and, I'm not um, surprised by that, <laughs> by the way. Hi, everyone. Hi. It looks so pretty. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? I lost six pounds. Congratulations on all that hard work. But make sure you don't gain it back with all those tempting treats. Looks like everyone forgot Edith was on a diet. Diet. <laughs> diet, diet. You know what? I'm going to be able to eat that. But you're not. Would you like a water? OK. Pretend it's something really yummy. Don't let her come here for oh, wine. Oh, poor Edith. No wine. Lucky me. I can have asparagus, right, Dan? If you want to ruin your diet, sure. I'll suck the sauce off it. 
I need food in me. Uh, I think I'll just pick off the non-saucy vegetables or just have some fruits or something, but I just want to eat. <laughs> I'm starving. We had to decide how we were going to get to the wedding, and I definitely wanted to also do that in style, so we wanted to go with a nice limousine, uh, something where... At around $300, because that's all I put in the budget. Yeah, for. which was really low. Look at these. These are fabulous. Oh, they're beautiful. Ooh, I want them all. <laughs> <laughs> so how much would that well, run at? The standard five-hour package is $1,450. Wow. Oh, now, yeah. that includes decorations on the outside, all the decorations inside to match the bridal colors, just married sign, red carpet service, champagne, and hors d'oeuvres. That's a bit... Yeah, Our that's budget? Easy. Well, we can talk about that yeah. later. Yeah. There's a few okay. things we can do. You guys check out the limo. Okay, Thank you. Feel free. Perfect. Test the champagne. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be your driver for tonight. <laughs> I really like this limousine. Yes. It's yeah. funky. It, it is nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just concerned about the budget, though, guys. We want to do a lot here. Like, you know, and if we just sit back and go over, like, the list of things that you guys want to do, I'm really concerned. We're just really pushing the budget big time. Yeah, we only put $300 mm -hmm. for transportation. Uh, this is our wedding day, and I would like to show up in style. And so we're going to work it into the budget. I'm going to need more money from you guys. Bottom cool. line, I'm going to need more cash. She was in charge of almost everything. So I wanted to use some of our budget to have, like, a nice entrance to the wedding, you know, because we had that nice waterfront uh, reception. Venue, yeah. Yeah, so I, uh, we ended up going out one day and seeing a speedboat. Those were his diamonds. We were thinking of getting a, um, a speedboat for the grand entrance for Edith and Cam's wedding. So I guess the first thing would be the, the prices. Prices, well, uh, mostly this boat here is about $250 for the two hours to start with. So were we able to get the price down if we just needed it for an hour, as opposed to the two hour for two fifty? Could probably be done. <laughs> yeah. That's what we like to hear. Okay, good. This is a dream of yours to have a big grand entrance, so but hopefully... Yeah. It's not all about Cam. I don't think Edith is going to like this idea at all. She's Why a complete shoes? princess. She'll complain as soon as she hits the dock <laughs> from there all the way to the boat. So. <laughs> it's a little rough out there. So thinking about Edith, uh, yeah. Oh. I say you let it rip. Can't. Let it rip? <laughs> I'm loving this no, right now. I you really don't understand. Think... Like, uh, no, this is not good for Edith no, at all. Is... Her hair will be soaked. She's going to look like Godzilla. Then what do you do in the yeah. Well, I'm a little wet too, but I thought it was great. I was with you on this one, Cam, but I'm sorry. Yeah, you're with me now. Yeah, yeah. I do. Now it's a completely lost battle for me. Yeah, <laughs> I, if I don't have one of your support, Edith's it, definitely uh... not going to not gonna want to do yeah. this. I think Edith would kill me if she, uh, if the weather was horrible on the day of our wedding and we got stuck out in, the, in a very wet and windy day. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back and uh, re-explore my options. It's coming up. Just really feeling like it's my wedding day and it's not good. I almost wanted to cancel it. I decided it's uh, time to make a decision here, and that's when I asked her to marry me. No ring, though. No, I didn't have a ring at the kitchen anything. table. There was nothing <laughs> romantic about it. It was at your parents' kitchen table. When it comes to spending money for just one day, there isn't a lot of room for fun and games. Well, you better put that ring. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way. That ring better be back over there. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on what it took for Edith and Cam to pull off their two big days. It was very important to us to have a, a Sikh wedding. Uh, it was something that my parents really wanted and they said they would handle the budget for the wedding. But unfortunately, right before the wedding, I still had trouble understanding what was actually going to happen. So we did have a quick meeting with uh, Cam's aunt and uh, the wedding plan is to go over some of those details. Chantel and I haven't been a part of a Sikh wedding before, so, so we know it's important that the women sit on one side and the men sit on the other, right. correct? Okay. Yes. When you enter in the temple, your head should be covered. The guests who are coming, then they can use what the temple provides. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. You know, in the early ages, there was a usually kings, princes, they, they go on the horses when they go for the wedding. Now is no there is no king and no nothing but now Cam's everyone my king, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I earned brownie points there. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I had to find a man about a horse. <laughs> he had to find a horse. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. 
okay. I definitely I can't get too close. Why are you afraid? I'm terrified of horses. Damn. Hey, Ross. Hey, Ross. How you doing? Hi, Ross. Hi, Ross. I'm so glad Hi. you're How here. Are you? <laughs> we were just checking out your beautiful horses here. This is what you're looking for? Yeah, exactly. Big white horse? Big, Big white, white horse. horse. <laughs> How much are the horses? It's 500 for the hour. 500. And uh, do you have any kind of, you like to dress it up? I have the ceremonial yeah. blankets. And exactly. You've done what a seat wedding before, so yes. you know exactly the what procession. cam, the procession, yes. what he needs, what he requires. Okay. I think I can do this? Beautiful. Wow. Oh First time gosh. on a horse, and I love it. I love this. I'm getting married once. I want to do it right, and I want to do it how we've always done it in our culture. Actually, Cam, you're getting married twice, but who's counting? For me, the morning of the ceremony, um, it was just about getting myself ready and getting everybody else ready. It was hard to get up so early in the morning to get my hair done. I think we were up like at five at my house to get ready. It was really hard. Okay. I think I need another coffee. I could have as much milk as I want today. Who cares about the diet? Yeah, I'm cold. Like, I'm coughing. You don't have anything at home. That's all my mess. I can give you ibuprofen, that's it. I don't have a headache, I have a cold. <laughs> but I don't have anything for cold. Okay, mommy? I can give you a box of Kleenexes. You think you've got it bad. I'm really feeling like <laughs> it's my wedding day and it's not good. I almost wanted to cancel it. Yeah, that's how bad I'm feeling. So. I'll get through it. Edith will kill me if I cancel it, so I don't care if I gotta do it and then pass out after, you know what I mean? So, I'm not feeling good, I'm really tired. I know. Yeah. 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 This way, this way. Do you mind if I sit? Yeah. It's her day, huh? Sometimes, when it comes to tradition, it's more than history that repeats. Cam gets very nervous when he does. He just, he's really sick, so I feel terrible for him. That looks very good. She's practicing how to bow. That looks good. I didn't eat anything today. You didn't eat? I, I, I did. Have a mint, uh, like a mint or anything? I have, I have gum, which is gonna That's give you off. gas. Gum gives you gas. Can I suck on it just so? Yeah. Just suck on okay. it, try not to chew it too much. Okay, so the horse ceremony should be taking place right about now. Yeah, I saw him coming out of the limo. Yeah. Oh no, she's eating carbs. I'm not feeling well at all, no. but I'm gonna get through this day. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Yes. So. Edith just wants to say, tell him I love him. That she loves him. No, she just wants to tell him, for you to tell him that she loves him. She just wants to let you know that she loves you, and she wants you to feel much better. Okay. Tell her I love her too. And he loves you too, Edith. And this is what happens when we spend a night apart. And this is what happens when we spend a night apart. Uh, when she walked in, I didn't actually get to see that because, uh, you know, it's we're not supposed to look at each other. But then when she sat down, I, you know, I got a glimpse of her, and I thought she looked beautiful in her lenga. So. I just wanted him to look at me, so I knew he was okay, because he was so sick, and I kept on asking him, and I kept on being told to be quiet. <laughs> at the end, um, of the families blessed us with um, some money to help us uh, start our new life together. We were surprised because we were expecting just, you know, somebody would drop like a five dollar or something. It was very nice to see that people helped us It was us nice out. to pay for other bills. <laughs> so we have one week and um, we have our other wedding, which yeah. I think I'm going to be the hot and sick one because I'm going to be in the big, big dress. This yeah. is actually pretty comfy. And I'm on vacation now. Coming up. I'm a little worried. I'm very close to being maxed out. Roger and I, my best man, we pulled up in a mini, and both of us were over six foot, and we used to wear those Cuban heels, so we were probably about six foot five. <laughs> we're trying to get out of this mini was hysterical. <laughs> when making plans to walk down the aisle, especially when it's twice in one week, you have to expect that things don't always go as planned. Edith will kill me if I cancel it, so I don't care if I gotta do it and then pass out after you. Despite being sick the day of their Sikh wedding, our bride and groom still managed to make it through. 
Now, with their Western ceremony and reception only a week away, there were some last minute details to take care of, like paying their bills. We had the arch that still needed to be decorated, uh, the candles for the ceremony that still needed to be decorated. The, the lobby display. Which were the pictures that we still needed to print out and hang. And those are gonna wrap around the chocolates? Yeah, just make sure you're in the middle. All the ribbon has to be the same oh, length. Okay. We have to make that uh, picture for them so they know how to drape it and everything. Five I'm gonna pounds. make a small one like this yeah. with just the white flowers. Okay. So the pictures are gonna be stuck on this and then hung on the staircase. Wrap Don't you think like we this? should have done this like uh, a, yeah. a month ago? Yeah, we should have, but you were too lazy to. No, oh, shit. You know, one thing that's been bothering me, like I, I, I've put a lot of money into the, like I've put my deposit checks in this week and it's bothering me, what do we have left? And the day off we have to pay the DJ the $75. Mm -hmm. Then we have the opera singer. Okay. The musicians. Okay. Uh, tipping the caterer. What else do we have? The limousine. The limousine. I mean, I'm a little I worried. I've put a lot of money in. I know we got thirteen hundred sitting in my account, so I'll transfer it over to our mutual account. I'm very close to being maxed out. I've dropped some major coin on this wedding. Um, I'm a little worried that the closer, like, to the uh, closer the date comes, uh, we're not going to have enough money. Anytime you're ready, we'll take your weight. Okay, I'm very nervous. The boobs are coming out. <laughs> Anything that will add extra weight, please. Yeah, and it made a difference, wow. My boobs made a difference. You've done really great so far. <laughs> so you got 19 pounds in total. 19 pounds 19 is a good pounds, number. Which is very good. Looking good. Thanks to mom and dad. The morning of the wedding, um, it actually went really smoothly. I was really relaxed. I had time with my bridesmaids and uh, I got a massage and it was <laughs> it was very nice. Spending our wedding money. No, it was my wedding money. <laughs> my wedding money. With not a care in the world. You look relaxed. Yeah. Oh, I just came from my massage. Oh, that's why. Good, because you're going to need to relax when you hear this. You just talk about the final payments for all the vendors. Um, this is the total that I need. But she'll take a check. Mm, no, she won't. None of your vendors now want checks. They all want cash. Mm, I want cash. I don't think we check out that much. So we take out. How much did you think? You how won't much? take a check, the wedding cake? Guy? No, nobody will. Everybody wants cash. Because remember, Baby the cash. cake, that should have been done three days mm. prior. So you think we'll have this amount? I bet you will do the... Disgusting thing of going and opening them up. Okay. I keep doing it. Right. Yeah. Paying vendors with gift money. Now that's banking on friends and family. I think that's that's it for now. We're on our way to the venue. Okay. I have no idea what this is for. The head table. What do you mean the head table? It's is not it... okay because we don't know what they're for. But Shemin, why don't you just ask? It's for the pegs. For the name cards. It's not tape. Mm -hmm. It's not tape. Okay, you said that. One more time. Okay. Ow! I thought you said 19. I just got a splinter. Oh. oh. That hurts. Yeah, I got those. It says head table. And that that tool thing, that wire, is okay. Wanna go to the hospital? Ouch! Sisterly love. Broken clip. If anyone's to break something, it's you. <laughs> but these are easy to break, I'm sure. Okay, no more touching, sister. You can't break things. <laughs> okay, that looks good. Oh, darn. You broke another one? Another one. Oh. What's wrong? Wow. Don't say that. <laughs> I don't like that word. <laughs> it's tangled, isn't it? It's tangled. We have to bring it through. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, put them all in my hand. There Perfect. we go. Oh, Lordy, oh. it's not even. Knowing our bride, she would know. If I could just get it to be like that, yeah. that's what I want. Oh. Should we take it down and... Oh, gosh. No, I think this is fine. Like, it's going to twirl and it's going to turn throughout the night. Will it not just turn throughout the night, regardless? These will turn, but the whole thing won't turn. It's turning now. You want to switch it? I think we should. Let's take it down and switch it. I don't think it's needed. 
Cam would probably agree, but remember, it needs to be picture perfect for our picky bride. Okay, uh oh. Dad, are you almost ready? Just so we can uh, put, get me dressed. Suck it in. <laughs> Okay. That's as tight as it can be on top? That's the way it's, it's, there's no way. Look how loose it is, look, look. I'm so gonna have to, to stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just have to make sure I stuff them. Which leg? <laughs> this way. <laughs> We're done. The limo's here. Cam, check out the ride, yeah. buddy. This is amazing. <laughs> Guys, everyone in, everyone in. All right, all right. <laughs> Chatel, we're coming up. Edith, Edith and I, we're all coming up. I saw Edith coming down. I was just, uh, I was very happy. Uh, she looked amazing. I was very happy to get married that day. In the presence of our family and friends. I choose you, Edith. I choose you, Edith. To be my wife. To be my wife. For better and for worse. Sit, sit down. Sickness and in health. I was all choked up and I was ready to ball completely. I pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Coming up. Let Edith know that we're going to take the money box yes. into the suite. Okay. And Chantel and I will write on the back of the card. Okay. You how know, much how much was in there originally. Okay. And how much we've taken. Wow, what did I think of Gainer in her dress? I thought, hmm. Not too many guys as lucky as I am on a day like this. Well, you look pretty hot yourself, too, honey. It's true, I did. <laughs> when it comes to weddings, it's important to keep your hopes held high and your wallet jam-packed. Soon, we'll let you in on how much Edith and Cam spent to make their two ceremonies double the fun. As soon as the uh, ceremony ended, uh, we were all hanging out in the bridal suite, and then Charmaine and Chantel come in, and they had a surprise for us. Attention, everyone. Sorry, can we just have your attention for one moment, please? We have fabulous news. We are able to get you guys a yacht. Nice! <laughs> Everybody's going on the yacht, and we're going to be taking wonderful pictures. Yeah, it was great. Are you, are you serious? Like The cruise ship was able to take us and the entire wedding party on to the ship. <gasps> What's my hair caught on? Nothing. And the ship actually went right in front of the venue, so we were able to wave to everybody while they were having cocktails, and we had that grand entrance. And let's not forget, we got to take pictures. Because pictures. it was raining, it, it just worked out perfect. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Mr. and Mrs. Dillon. Well, everyone was having a great time. Chantel was in the kitchen making sure everything was up to our picky bride's expectations. And you guys are doing a great job. And the cheese? Yeah, Is there any cheese yeah. coming? More cheese. More yeah. cheese. So that looks great. Thank you so much, Merlin. Everything was great, or so you thought. There were some issues during the evening that my lovely, lovely brother and my sister-in-law was very helpful sorting out some minor detail. Minor detail? Hmm, like paying the vendors? Let Edith know that we're gonna take the money box yes. into the suite, okay. and Chantel and I will write on the back of the card, okay. you how know, much how much was in there originally okay. and how much we've taken. Okay. Because the photographer came to me like just now, she's like, I right. wanna settle up right That's now. Fine. I have 200. I have 200. Two, four, six. 600. That's 600. The vendors were finally paid. The guests, none the wiser. And our couple married. Twice. I had the greatest time. Uh, this whole experience has just been fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. And now married. To all you women out over the, at home, it's too bad it's over. It's over. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> You're a freak. <laughs> but how much did Cam freak out when he saw the final bill? The original budget that we gave to Chantal and Charmaine for our, both of our weddings was $19,000. I love the cake that we had. It was completely different, and it cost us only $400. Edith looked so beautiful in her wedding dress. Uh, I couldn't imagine being married to someone in a different dress. It cost $900. The weight loss clinic, which cost about $1,000, was a gift from my parents. Charmaine and Chantel were amazing. 
Uh, they took so much pressure off of Edith and I. Uh, they were definitely worth it at $2,500. The decor, including the wonderful, beautiful centerpieces, was $3,695. The food at our wedding was definitely what we were both looking for. The total cost was $8,300. The venue, which was absolutely stunning and exactly what Cam and I wanted, including the open bar, was $10,000. The additional cost for a wedding, including transportation, photographer, and DJ, came to $7,113. The actual budget for our weddings was $32,908. Putting us over by $13,908. But it was so worth it. The couple is delighted, their parents ecstatic, and their budget nixed. The only question left is, did Edith finally blow her diet? There was a few people that we couldn't sit together, and it did make for problems, but that was the good thing, because that was the, the side of the uh, wedding planning that I gave to my mother. Mm -hmm. The booze is where most of the cost went. Well, Gainer's family was there. <laughs> Leave a mark.